hi guys how all is all everyone today so today i am doing my yay or nay empties and that's if i'm gonna repurchase or i'm just gonna toss them to the side so i have quite a few items and i'm trying to make this intro not so long so let's jump right in yeah let's jump right in do i look washed out to you guys okay just make sure just let me know if i am because my lighting has been acting up yeah i think i like that better all week anyway let's jump right in so this is a bag my Victoria's Secret cute little pinky bag I'll back that up so you don't see it and let's jump right in because I'm so excited to share because you know I love to share okay so first I pick up this is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian body oil in Canuke QQ QQ whatever nut I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right and it's a hundred um, um, paraben free, no animal testing, and vegetarian um, ingredients. When that's why I really picked it up because I didn't have my um, my other rose water um, toner that I normally use, and it will be a nay. I didn't, it doesn't do anything for me. It's not even that. Um, I didn't use that much. I think it's like still here, but it's still gonna be tossed, or I'm gonna give it away because I didn't find that um, it did any um moisturizer now i will say this i did try this in the winter i mean in the summer rather and it was a little bit better and but as the winter and the, as a fall the season chain came to fall to winter this just went way downhill so honestly speaking i really don't like this product and i just won't be using it again so and this is not my toner i'm sorry for my um not my toner what my toner it's not a toner um bleep moment this to replace my jehovah oil this is what it was for not my toner though but there is one for my toner and it's right here this is the bees um birds bees rose water toner and looks like that i don't care if you can just see it i don't want to be washed up let me just bring it into the camera so you can see that's what it looks like there we go and like i said um this for this toner for this item i yeah i didn't like it I didn't feel like it toned anything. It made my face, left my face super dry in my opinion. Um, I'm just wondering, like I was reading on it to see if it was like for sensitive skin. I don't know if that's the reason why, but I'm definitely going to be regifting it or giving it to someone or tossing it. I'm not sure yet. Um, when I say give it, it's probably like a family member, like someone that I know, not not um, not to give it to a person because I already used it. But um, yeah, I don't want to spend too much on this. It's just not for me. Um, I do like it because it's organic though and um, it's all natural so but I'm sorry I won't be repurchasing it I'm sorry I just won't this is a oldie but goodie and I found it and I was I used it up and I was like I gotta mention this because I don't know if anybody knows about Vitapoint this is Vitapoint this is a great leave-in conditioner it is um the cream conditioner hairdresser it says a conditioner and um, it is great on natural hair I used to use this all the time on my daughter's hair when she was much younger and I so love this and I'll show you what it looks like of course I need to turn this so you can see it it looks like that okay when it come up again okay my camera is bugging but I will definitely have these linked below but of course it's all washed out why is it washed out okay there we go there we go I think there's too much lighting on it okay right a point so I do like this this I got at my local um beauty supply store and it's an eight ounce and I don't remember how much it was but um it's really good like I I cannot say anything bad about it. this is really a good this is definitely going to be a, a, a ray a yay to um repurchase it next I have the L'Oreal ever sleek precious oil treatment with organic <clears throat> I'm sorry with argan oil and Morocco from Morocco I bought this on my local CVS and unfortunately this will not be a repurchase I did not find it to be um, that lightweight I find it to be super heavy and it's what it looks like and I'm just not a big fan of this one um, it says it's supposed to be good it's supposed to be precious oil not in my opinion maybe on some other hair but just not on mine so I won't be repurchasing this repurchasing it but one thing I will be repurchasing and this is like I couldn't find my empty one but I do have an empty one of this I'll have to make sure it's in spell okay this is the Garnet um, Skin Active 
um, micellar cleansing water. Oh my goodness, I love this. Yes, I've said it in my drug um, store haul, um, my drug store um, update and my drug store haul. And it's in my favorites for February. And I love this makeup remover. It is the best thing. I will be purchasing this, but I'm just like always looking for a sale for this. Because I'm going to be, I in the back of my mind, I have nightmares that this is going to be discontinued. So I am definitely will be repurchasing this. So I love this. Mwah. You see me do that my other one. I love it. I give it a kiss. I love this stuff. It is the best stuff in my opinion. Another goodie. This is the Herbal Essence um, Hello Hydration condi Conditioner. And definitely, I think this lasts me forever. Um, I think back when I was um, just got introduced to YouTube, I heard everybody raving about this. And I, yes, definitely went on. The, why is it freezing like that? Sorry, my camera is really bugging today. Like, really bugging. Oh my goodness, crazy. Yes, it was, it was, like I said, um, I jumped on the bad wagon and I purchased this and I have not regretted one day since I bought it. It leaves your head sm so nice. It is in the, it like, it smells like it has like a little, it's coconut essence and it has like the coconut here and oh my goodness, it smells like coconut and it's so good. It's good for co-washing and, um, there's nothing bad I can say about this condition. This um condition, it's good for your natural hair. It's good for extension, your braids. I will be right. This is my to-go conditioner forever. So I love it. Until something else come along, I use Hello Hydration. It's not expensive from drugstore. Next, I have the blood, the um, the mask, the Seven Heaven mask. I thought I had another one. Um, I had the Manuka or honey somewhere here. I don't know where did it just go. But I have the Manuka oil, and this is the Hot Sauna, and I also try the green, tea, the green tea one. I love these masks. You know anything, especially you get my yay just because you don't, you haven't, um, you know, I haven't had any breaks out, breakout or anything with this, and I have not. There's nothing bad I could say about these masks. They're nice. They are inexpensive. You could get them at the drugstore. I actually saw that at the beauty supply store. I was like, wow. But I got mine at Ulta. And you can get at Target, I believe. Yeah, Target, I believe. So definitely check this out. It is a great um, mask. It's a great um, pick me up in the week. I feel like if your skin sometimes throughout the week gets a little dull, you can spice up a mask when you get in. And this is a great mask to use. Definitely recommend. So that is definitely a yay. I'll be repurchasing it. Now I have um, quite a few Hello um Herbal essence, um, herbal essence. This is my Herbal Essence Naked Dry Shampoo, and I don't think it has a flavor, but it smells so good. It has like a little clear on it. looks like that. I don't know, Tony, that's what it looks like. Come on. Looks like that. Yes. And I love it. I feel like you just go in, you spray it, you pump up your hair, and you're good to go. And I'm not promoting not wash your hair, but this is definitely a great alternative if you, you know, have to be on the go and it's a summer Monday, you're busy, you didn't wash your hair, you need a little life, definitely you can use some dry, um, dry shampoo. It's nice. The smell is beautiful. It has a beautiful smell. I'm trying to recommend it. It's like, it has like a touch of mint or so. It, is, it smells, it's like a nice florally um, it smells like a, a hair, a hair that has been well shampooed. So definitely this is a yay. I will be repurchasing this because I love it. And it lasts a long time because I, you know, don't use that often. Anyway, this is the L'Oreal Paris, um, advanced, um, <clears throat> um, sunscreen. And this is the Silky Sheer Lotion in 30, um, SPF. And I love this. Oh my goodness. I... In the summer, I live on this stuff. And also, I use it as my moisturizer. I don't probably use my glycerin as much. I use this, use this. Then I go with my primer, and then I do my foundation and so forth. And I find it does not leave me greasy. It doesn't give me any white cast. I don't overload. I just put it a good amount. I put it all over my body. I love this stuff. It is the best ever. And you're preserving your skin. So what else? This is great. And I forgot who I heard this from. I don't want to start throwing out names but definitely try it out it is really a good um it's like oh it's like you can see like a little it's just like a light um a nice little white substance it's just like a nice lightweight um sunscreen for your for your um skin 
Next, I have the same L'Oreal in the, the Paris Advance, and this is alcohol free, and this is a, also it's a, a invisible um protection, and it has a clear um finish spray. I'm, and I love this stuff as well. I will say this on a hot, sticky day, I will not use this because it can be a little sticky, but on like, you know, in the evenings or um, maybe on the early afternoons, you could definitely, um, on a cooler day, you can definitely spray this on. This is also good for the beach. If you're not, like, if you're in the beach, you could definitely use this. So this is definitely going to be a repurchase, and I love it. I've just, I've, and I've had it a while because I just like spray a lot, not spray that much, so it's it, it lasts you a while. And this is the Elf brush, um, brush shampoo for your makeup brushes, and it's three dollars at um Elf, um, also at Target, I believe. Um, it's okay. I'm not really sold on it. It it, it washes your brush. Does it do an amazing job? That I can't swear for. So, I don't might be able to nay, even though it's $3. There is one that I use on my beauty blender and um, on my brushes. And I'm loving. And I've been using for like about two, three weeks. So, I want to do like a whole month before I bring it to you guys. But definitely look out for that video because I think it's good. Unfortunately, it's over $12. But it's still from the drugstore. So, I think it's something um worth um checking out. So, I definitely don't think this might be a nay. I won't be purchasing this now, but I will um, probably keep the contain keep the container for like if I'm traveling or something. We're almost there, and this is oh my goodness, my camera is buffering. This is so crazy. This is the um, B5 wait weightless the V5 oh my God, the V5 weightless oil mist, and this is from Organics, and it is the best thing ever. I love this stuff. Why is it doing that? Oh my goodness. So sorry, guys. My camera is bugging out. And it is so good. It is so lightweight. It is nothing like that L'Oreal. This is what you say lightweight. It gives you, your um your hair a beautiful glow, a beautiful mist. Oh my goodness. I think this was in my, fe my favorite favorites. I feel like when you spray this on your hair, it could be the dullest. You could not wash your hair for maybe a couple days to a week and you spray this and your hair has life. And it could be like flimpy. It has life. And I, there's nothing bad I can say about it. This is the bomb.com for hair. Um, I could definitely see um, in the summer, you could definitely get away like using a lot of this because it doesn't weigh down your hair. And it still gives you um, a nice shine. And it leaves the shine in your hair for like days to come. So that is definitely a yay. And then last but not least, which I just realized I have not talked about this um, product on my channel. This was like my first product I've been using for the last, when I got really serious about my skincare about eight years ago. This is the product that I use, and I got it from a spa that I um, went to. And this is the Provena, and this is what it looks like. This is my Provena. This is the um, the moisturizer, and unfortunately, I don't have the toner, but the toner has like a pink um, top to it. And I love this stuff. There's nothing bad I could say about this this um moisturizer. It was so nice on my skin. It gives me a glow, beautiful toner. The only bad thing is that unfortunately you can't like go into a store and order it, or you can't even order it on, on their website. You have to actually get it from a spa or um something like that, like a spa location, or you could probably get it from Amazon. Which um yeah, I bought one from Amazon and it did wonders. But to be honest, when I did get it from the spa, I don't know if it was like a knockoff or something. It let my face a little have. I had a better glow when I got the one from the spa. I don't know, so that's it. But otherwise, from that, I really, really love this product. There's nothing bad I could say about it. If I actually go to a spa and I get my hands on this again, I definitely will be repurchasing this. So that's it. So this is a good moisturizer. If you can find it, please try it. It's got thing is good for like sensitive skin and definitely dry skin. This is a great, a great moisturizer, and their toner is. The same. It has a pink bottle. Amazing. Love it. And I believe it's not, well, it's kind of pricey. Well, I think it's around, don't quote me, around $26, $30. So it's kind of pricey as well. So that's the only thing on top of that. But anyway, that's it. No more empties. So once again, thanks for um, watching. And please, please leave any um, comments below and tell me what your um, yays or nays are for um going forward and i cannot wait to hear see you again in my next video like and subscribe bye dolls